gender studies is an interdisciplinary field that looks at the power dynamics and the power structures that relates to uh, gender identities and how it forms societies and affect people socially, economically, culturally, and politically. Gender studies also look at issues with a critical and intersectional lens and study the um, production and reproduction of the power dynamics that uh, construct the gender norms we have and the ways people understand and perform gender. Gender studies is definitely more than just studying the performance of genders. To me, it is more about how the power relations and structures have been shaping our intersecting identities, including our gender, race, class, religion, nationality, and so on, as well as how our past, present, and future lives are constructed in and even becoming part of a much bigger and broader system. So essentially, it is about figuring out ways to resist the institutionalized and systemic oppressions and hierarchies that we're situated in. Um, it allows me to figure out and understand who I am, who I want to be, and most importantly, um, to not come to terms with things too easily in ways that I'm supposed to or I'm expected to. Um, as students of gender studies, we look at different discourses, including um, gender equality, racism, sexism, justice, and even beauty norms in a critical, contextualized, and intersectional way so that we can uncover and bring to the attention the nuances and connections that are usually conveniently ignored in the public discourses. Gender studies is also a very interdisciplinary field because we look at things from different academic perspectives including um, sociology, philosophy, arts, history, social sciences, science, um, anthropology, and many more. So you might be really confused when you first hear about the term gender studies. What exactly is gender studies? We already have the medical field, we already have the science field, so what is gender studies doing here? Well, the truth is, gender studies is about the power structure in our society and how the power structure has been maintained all over our history and this power structure continues to separate people based simply based on their identity, their gender identity, their sexuality, their religion, their caste, their ethnicity, their class. So all of these factors which continues to shape our identity, these are used as a measure to separate and divide the people into the group of more privileged and into the group that is less privileged. And in gender studies, we learn about these power structures, these power dynamics, and we learn about how we can fight against these power structures and try to make the world a more equal place. I decided to be a gender studies major because I believe in equal opportunity for everyone. But obviously, not everyone had the same opportunities and some people are being suppressed even in modern societies. So I'm interested in finding out reasons behind this issue and what I can do to help out the minorities. Growing up, I had always been really interested in gender issues and definitely gender issues were something that was always really um, something I was passionate about and it always affected my daily life and something that I always loved talking about ever since I was young and in, in getting into university I never realized I could take major or take courses that are specifically about gender studies and so when I found out I realized that this was something I was really passionate about I have always been passionate about and I have the opportunity to really connect what I learned to my reality and my everyday experiences so for me I thought this was the best choice for me to really do major in this because I love doing research on gender issues and I thought I'd be really happy taking it as my major. 
I chose to do my major in gender studies because this program teaches me values that go beyond the classroom, values such as empathy and passion for justice. And each gender studies class really leaves me reflecting on my own life and the types of ideas that I grew up with, the types of ideas that I still hold. And it teaches me to never stop learning and to never stop unlearning as well. Um, most of all, however, I think I chose to do my major in gender studies because this program has given me a sense of purpose and the program has really empowered me to truly believe that I can be the change that I want to see in this world. Each gender studies class is really not a class but rather an empowering community of very passionate individuals that truly just want to create a better world. What I really love about gender studies is that you can take a lot of other courses from other faculties. I've taken a lot of criminology courses that are related to gender as well. So it's really interesting because it gives you a lot of freedom. So you don't really get bored or you don't lose interest. And there's a lot that you can really, a lot of different courses that you could go for. It doesn't have to be just under like gender studies. You can also look at literature that relate to gender issues as well or history, or law, or criminology, or sociology. So I feel that there's so much diversity in, in all these courses, and it kind of looks into different disciplines as well that makes it so intriguing. In general, a gender studies major take classes that use an intersectional lens to look at the things that had happened in the past, things that are happening right now around us and around the world. Personally, I've taken classes related to beauty, religions, decolonization and race. In the class Gender, Race and Beauty, we learned how beauty is informed by gender and racial norms. For example, we looked at the history of whitening creams in Asia and studied the packaging and advertisement of certain beauty products. For this class, I did a research project on how Chinese rappers use African hairstyles to signify their um, authenticity as rappers such as cornrows and dreadlocks. So you can see there is a lot of versatility and diversity in gender studies classes. So what kind of courses does a gender study major take? Well, the gender studies program offers a lot of interesting courses on different topics. For instance, GND 2002, Gender, Race and Beauty, which I have taken in my second year. We looked at how different beauty norms and different beauty products could be situated in a much bigger discourse of um, gender, race, and colonialism. Um, there were also courses on other topics, for example, on leadership, decolonization, and on material and visual culture. You can also take courses from other arts subjects, such as um, Korean studies, Japanese studies, American studies, Hong Kong studies, as well as history and English literature, and many more. What makes it even better is that you can take courses from other faculties and departments, such as sociology and law. In your final year of study, you will be doing a very exciting capstone course in which um, you will learn and apply different research methods of gender studies to lead and create your own independent research project on any topics that you're passionate about and or interested in. Um, although it's an independent project, but you will not be doing it alone. Um, you will receive a lot of guidance and help from your professor as well as support from your fellow classmates. So it is amazing. My favorite gender studies course has been Gender, Race and Beauty. It was taught by Elizabeth Lacouture and it was a really cool interactive course. So we got to play around with a lot of makeup and talk about how it's used and how it changes our appearance and the way others see us as well. And it was really great because also it was so diverse. We talked about anything from Asians to African Americans to European beauty standards and how they play into our lives every day. And some of my best friends from HKU are from that course.
My favorite gender course is Gender 2005, which is taught by Dr. Stacy Ford. It is a course that examines religion, gender, and sexuality as crucial systems of power that shapes our world. And so rather than introducing gender and religion according to the categorization of world religions, this course applies a thematic approach. It aims to show how gender is understood differently across culture and society as variations of a theme. While it also reflects on the religious, the practices and gender norms of their own, social and cultural backgrounds and the cross-cultural issues. Now, in this course, students normally um, take academic readings and connect it to real life examples, for instance, uh, one where you can find in news, in the media, or even your own everyday lives, and uh, which thereby produces new theoretical understandings of gender, religion, and sexuality within the context of Hong Kong, Asia, or the world. I hope you like this course as much as I did because it was a fun time. My favorite gender studies course is called Gender, Race, and Beauty. It is instructed by Dr. Elizabeth Lacroto, who is the director of the program. And in this class, we have group discussions every week. Dr. Lakuto has brought a lot of skincare products and makeup products to the class, and we will examine these products to see where, it, uh, where are these things come from and what are the functions they are marketing to provide. Also, we have read through a lot of journal articles talking about the topics of the week and we will examine why are these products seemingly important in our life. And we also went through how beauty ideals are constructed socially. We have also checked many makeup products advertisements to see how the producers will convince the consumers that these products are very important and these products can be useful for especially women to have a better appearance. And we also examine why better appearance means a lot to women. At the end of that course, we have designed an individual research project. And my research project was about lipsticks. And it was a really interesting thing to investigate through why lipsticks are getting more and more popular in our daily life. This course was something like very closely related to my life. So I can identify myself in many of the readings. And that's why I have learned a lot after the course. What I like the most about gender studies is it broadens students' horizons by encouraging us to think beyond the gender binary, which helps us to understand how gender stereotypes are formed and let us to think about what we can do to empower minority groups. I like the gender-inclusive classroom very much as it promotes the idea that everyone is equal and makes me feel incredibly comfortable to learn and participate in class activities. I love that gender studies provide us with chances to acquire various skills which are useful in my future career. What I like the most about gender studies is that um, there's a lot of liberty when you take these courses and you get to research on things that you are really deeply passionate about and it definitely helps me reflect a lot on what I learn um, and really apply it to my daily life. And I feel that a lot of things that I've learned in gender studies has made me even more passionate and to actually use those concepts and apply it to daily life and especially my organization work. So that's something that I feel like is what I love about gender studies. It enables me to be more creative and to really apply what I've learned in my daily life, um, whether it comes to activism or even in general conversations with other people who may not be used to talking about gender issues as much as probably I go through in my classes. So that's one thing that I 
love about gender studies. So one thing that I really like about our gender class is the fact that we are constantly decoding our society because everything in our life is gendered. From the day that we were born, we were taught to dress up in a certain manner, we were taught to talk in a certain manner, we were taught to behave in a certain manner. and. In gender class, we are able to act as like that rebellious child who is able to think on their own and reject the traditional ideas of what it means to be man and a woman because gender is not binary. There's a lot more on our spectrum and we should be able to respect people's belief despite, regardless of whether you have that you are that or not and in gender class we have that safe space where we're able to talk about all of these issues and it makes the class a lot more enriching and we're also able to share our personal experiences which make our class a lot more interesting. I think gender studies majors change the world in all the small little necessary ways that we maybe don't even think about or talk about, you know. We're the people at the round table who will raise our hands to share our side of the story or our point of view or a point of view that will represent minorities that don't, don't often get to speak for themselves, even if it doesn't necessarily apply to us. I think we're the small people that will argue and that will explain and will try to educate others um, as long as and as well as we can. As gender studies majors, we are constantly questioning and deconstructing norms that are present in our society. And we do that both in the classroom and outside the classroom. Um, we're always asking what is and isn't normal in society and why and what kind of values and beliefs do we hold and how do these beliefs um, form and shape the types of environments that we're living in. So gender studies majors are really just very involved in transformation from within whether that be in ourselves the people around us or even the larger institutions that we're all a part of talking about changing the world can start from some very straightforward methods like joining the ngo but i think studying gender studies can also change the world from some little places for example you can start to change how you view the world and I really like the saying that gender study is a one-way door. Once you have learned these theories, you can see the world in a very different angle. Because gender studies is a sh subject about diversity and equality, so studying gender studies can sometimes be very uncomfortable. Because you will realize there are so many things, so many words in life that is actually not correct. But now being equipped with gender study series, you can now try to stop these uncomfortable things. For example, you can start with stop stopping your friends telling about some rape jokes and letting them know this is not okay to do so. Or when you see other people are having confusions, just like you, before you studying gender studies, you can try to invite them also enter this one way door to join the theory of gender studies and to understand why is it not okay. I believe that starting from these small steps, eventually we can make the world a better place.